Christ God, my sisters and brothers, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Christ Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Right now, I'm back again with the Word of God. Today, we're going to talk about family. We're going to talk about family. Why I came with family? In life we're living in, you know, we have different families in life we're living in, and everybody knows exactly where you are born from. So, what I have to tell you this, my sisters and brothers, as you know, um, well, first of all, you have to listen to your five parents as a parent, you know, if you have parents. But another thing, what I have to tell you is, the family is good as good. It's good to be with a family. Because I, uh, example I can give, uh, you can be there like born in this world without family. You feel bad, you know. But when you are with, um, when you have a, uh, the family, the people you talk, to, uh, the, I mean, people you call your family, you're going to feel good. You feel really good. So, um, I have seen the difference because when I before I gave my life to Christ, I saw some of the things of uh, people who are like that. And then when I uh, before even I did that, still I saw what is the difference between that having parents and having no parents. But let me tell you this: when you give your life to Christ, that's another family. The family which Sarah, which everybody wants in this world. For me, I didn't know that giving life to Christ is totally different. Because when you give your life to Christ, you're going to be different too. So, uh, you join that family and you feel good because they're going to help you in each and every thing. You're going to meet people in different ways. You're going to help people in different ways. God is going to help you in different ways. You know, he can do a lot of things to you or through people, you know. Or through, uh, through people. And it's uh, it's too very sent to you. So what I have to tell you is, being um like you have this earthly family is not good enough. That's what I can say. If you have Christ as your personal savior, even though you don't have mama and dad, you have a beautiful family ever so that's what i have to sh to tell you my sisters and brothers because um you feel bad when you don't have parents but if you do not have them but when you have christ as your personal savior you have a family which you, the um which you don't need like what i have to say you don't need like you you love them but even though they are not there still you can't be there that's what i can use because I myself, I have parents, yes, I love them, when I want to see them, I can, and when I want to talk to them, or you know, if I call them and they pick up, they, that's good, I go ahead and talk to them, they don't, they don't, but let me tell you this, if I can't spend a day without talking to my mom, or even some good time, but I can't spend a day without talking to my Lord. I can't be there without doing what I'm supposed to do, what he called me to do in this world. So that's why I have to tell you this. Even though I do oh, go somewhere and then they told me something, I feel like, I feel, I feel something which is not right, something which is missing in me. So I feel there is something which is not, go which is not going on right with me so that's the family which you know it has life forever this other family is good is good but let me tell you this they're not gonna give you life sometimes people they do a lot of things they do this and this and this and then you end up having a lot of headaches i'm not trying to push people away that do, you stay away from this person don't talk with this one don't do this no we have to be in people because we we preach we preach to people we love people we be with people god send us to do everything with people i am a person too so what i have to tell you this my sisters and brothers we have to be in christ to have a beautiful family those who are willing to marry they have to be in christ you know you study your family have to be in Christ. The family you have when Christ is in there is going to be a very beautiful, marvelous family. So, my sisters and brothers, I'm telling you this let us stay in Christ so that you can have a good foundation. I was talking about foundation yesterday. So, be in Christ. We'll see you. Love you. God bless you. See you. Let us meet in program. God bless you. See you. Bye bye.